Welcome aboard! This is Bay Area Rapid Transit, affectionately and sometimes infamously known as BART. It's pretty much a lifeline for commuters across the San Francisco Bay Area. 723 trains, 122 miles of track, 48 stations, and more than 420,000 rides each day. But all that can sometimes add up to a pretty crazy ride. The female was attacked with a hammer and she's bleeding from the head at this point. I'm even wearing my own pepper spray. I don't see any police presence on BART. You see people using the restroom? On yeah, the train? yeah. Oh my gosh, I would say anything goes. Like a Wild West lawless place. People like, get verbally no, abusive on BART. Naked. <laughs> you know, it's awful walking by all the homeless people. I've seen people, you know, shooting up on bars. Two subjects smoking or doing heroin. I've seen people getting into physical fights. Patrons are reporting an active fight in train car 1699. As I was running out of the BART parking lot, I heard a blood curdling scream. He just like punched her in the face, right across the face. She was reading a book, didn't see it coming. How are people supposed to feel safe when this is what they're seeing on BART? Unfortunately, we can't have our officers on every train and every station. We've heard complaints from riders who feel like BART, frankly, hasn't been that transparent. Oh, I would disagree with that. I think BART is very transparent. For months, we reviewed tens of thousands of crime reports. <laughs> Spent days and nights recording on the train and spoke with BART's top leaders to find out how a world-class transportation system went from this to this. So hold on, because there's no telling where this story will take us. Just about everyone in the Bay Area seems to have a BART story. Good, bad, weird sometimes even dangerous. Violent crime on BART has more than doubled over the past few years. So what's behind it? Who can stop it? And if you don't feel safe on BART, then when can you expect that to change? Over the past couple of months, we've been riding BART throughout the Bay Area at all hours of the night to find out how a sophisticated transportation system that runs through the tech capital of the world got derailed. Just type in BART on social media, and there is a lot to see. A lot. Some you probably wish you could unsee. There are entire online groups dedicated to the bizarreness of BART. Iguanas sitting in seats, humans sitting in garbage cans. And sure, it's plenty of innocent stuff. Musical acts impressive acrobatics, but along with performers pulling out all the stops, some riders are pulling out weapons. This guy is wielding a long knife. A woman whipped out her taser on BART after claiming her phone was stolen. Give her her phone. And this man revved up not one, but two chainsaws. Yeah, I said chainsaws. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Nobody really cares about what happens on BART anymore. This is Jessica Blanco. She's 22 <laughs> and grew up riding BART just about every day. You will literally see any and everything here, and it's just gonna happen. It's just gonna be okay. And accepted. And accepted. You're gonna at least find one wacky thing through your commute throughout the day. That's just one, a given. Just a given. Like what? You'll see people naked. <laughs> You've seen people naked on BART? Yeah. Yeah, just crazy people. I've seen people use the bathroom on BART. I've seen people... Hold on, you've seen people use the bathroom on BART? I've seen literally a homeless person take his pants down and use the bathroom on BART. On more than one occasion? More than one occasion. More than one occasion. Like, I, 
Like I said, this is my whole life. It's normal. <laughs> What's also becoming increasingly normal on BART is violent crime, spiking more than 115% over the past few years. While that includes homicide and rape, robbery and aggravated assault make up the vast majority of violent crime here. BART has argued its crime rate was relatively low last year, with only four violent crimes for every one million rides. But we compared that with subway systems in Los Angeles, New York, D.C., and Atlanta, and found BART had the highest rate of violent crime, making it one of the most dangerous transportation systems in the country. Three killings in five days at BART station. And this is where BART police say a rider was assaulted last Wednesday. And the attacks sometimes come out of nowhere. I was sitting in the aisle, and there was this guy who kept walking up and down the aisle. Michelle Beltrain rides BART every weekday. She was on her normal commute from Daly City to San Francisco when she noticed a guy on the train. As he was walking back, he sucker punched this woman in front of me. He punched um, a woman? Yeah, he just like punched her in the face, right across the face. She was reading a book, didn't see it coming. So he didn't even know her? No, I think it's just a reminder that we just need to be more careful and I carry pepper spray <laughs> when I was commuting to MacArthur because I never knew what was going to happen. The lack of police on trains is one of the biggest complaints among riders, according to BART's own service. So after hearing your stories, seeing your posts on social media, and going over the crime stats, we decided to document our own experiences on BART. So for the past couple of months, we have been riding and recording all across the Bay Area. I just got to the Civic Center stop here in San Francisco. This is the Fruitvale Station, Montgomery Street Station. We're here at West Oakland. And there's a guy walking around in a hockey mask, like from those horror movies. And it looked like he was gonna walk onto the tracks, so these two BART employees stopped him. And it looks like there's no cushions. We also discovered there are people on BART who rip out seats, while others apparently bring their own. This guy tried selling my producer used jewelry. Buy that ring? Yeah. All right, I'm good. Hey. Then there's these women fighting near the platform. And yes, that's hey. the sound of one of them trying to tase the other. We also caught people openly doing drugs, repeatedly. BART has its own police force, more than 170 officers. So where are they? They don't really never really get on trains. I think I've seen police twice. Only twice? Yeah. And you've been riding BART your whole life? Yeah. So I'm currently the interim chief of police for the BART Police Department. So what does BART's top cop have to say about all this? Do you have enough officers right now to protect passengers? No. Ahead on Derailed. This photo here actually shows someone holding a knife. How are people supposed to feel safe when this is what they're seeing on BART? My baby gone, she was only 18. She didn't ask for this. At this point, I just want justice for my daughters. A teenager stabbed to death while waiting to board BART. The whole thing with Nia Wilson, who can really feel safe? 